Hey everyone in today's lecture we are going to discuss about one of the important type of inheritance and that is hierarchical inheritance with example so as you know there are five types of inheritance in csharp.net and these are single multiple multi level hierarchical and hybrid in the previous lecture we already discussed about single and multi level inheritance with example and today we are going to discuss about the hierarchical inheritance with example so before starting the example let's see what is meant by hierarchical inheritance okay so hierarchical inheritance is a type of inheritance in which there are multiple classes derived from one base class so hierarchical inheritance means what there is a single base class and from that single base class we can derive multiple derived classes and this type of inheritance is called as a hierarchical inheritance this type of inheritance is used when there is a requirement of one class feature that is needed in multiple classes okay so let's understand this so this is a class a and which is a base class in hierarchical inheritance there is a single base class and multiple derived classes so here class a is a base class and from this class a we can derive multiple derived classes for example class b class c class d and class e so this type of inheritance is called as a hierarchical inheritance where there is a single base class and multiple derived classes multiple derived classes means two or more derived classes now let's see the example of hierarchical inheritance okay so here i open visual studio with console application c sharp as a language and name the application name the console application as hierarchical inheritance now let's write down first the structure of hierarchical inheritance hierarchical inheritance means what there is a single base class and multiple derived classes in this example i am going to perform the arithmetic operation the two arithmetic operations one is the addition and the second one is subtraction you can also perform many operations as you want so first i am going to declare the base class and that is class calculation inside curly bracket there are data members and member functions of class calculation now create derived class the first derived class from base class that is a calculation for example name the derived class as addition so here class addition colon base class name that is a calculation class derived class name colon base class name and then inside curly bracket data members and member functions of class addition now create another derived class from the same base class that is a calculation name the derived class for example class subtraction and which is derived from the class calculation again data members and member functions of class subtraction okay so this is a base class that is a calculation and from this base class we create two derived classes one is a addition and second one is subtraction the type of inheritance where there is a single base class and multiple derived classes that type of inheritance is called as a hierarchical inheritance now write down the data inside classes as you know the class is a collection of data members and member function so here i am going to perform arithmetic operations like addition and subtraction so first i am going to include data members suppose here i include two data members a and b okay now write down the function for example public void get data and inside get data function i am going to get the values of a and b at run time so write down console dot write line in bracket enter the value of a and b now read the value of a and b at run time so write down a equal to convert dot to integer 32 in bracket console dot read line again do the same for variable b so b equal to convert dot to integer 32 in bracket console dot read line 
okay now end the function that is a gate data and then end of class calculation okay so base class is done now go to the first derive class that is a class addition in this class i am going to perform the addition of two numbers and for that again i am going to declare the third variable to store the addition and that is integer c now define one method that is a public void add and here i am going to perform addition of two numbers that is a c equal to a plus b now print the value of addition which is stored in variable c so write down console dot write line in bracket double quotation addition is c bracket complete end with semicolon now end of function add and then end of class okay now let's move on to the second derive class that is a subtraction so here we are going to perform the subtraction of two numbers that is a and b so again declare the data member that is integer d to store the subtraction of two numbers now include one method that is a public void sub and inside this method perform the subtraction that is d equal to a minus b now print the value of d so write down console dot write line in bracket double quotation subtraction is double quotation complete and value of d bracket complete end with semicolon end of function sub and then end of class subtraction now let's move on to the main function where the actual program execution will start so here first we have to create the object of the classes to call the methods as you know we create the derived class objects but in this program there are two derived classes one is the addition and the second one is subtraction so here i am going to create the object of both the classes so first i am going to create the object of first class that is the addition how to create object first write down class name that is a derived class name then object name is equal to new derived class name or simply we can call it as a class name so here addition is a class here i name the object as a equal to new addition now call the first method for example the first method is get data and then we call the second method that is a add to perform the addition of two numbers so here write down a dot get data and then a dot add okay now the next derived class is subtraction so again create object of class subtraction so write down class name object name equal to new class name so here the object name is s now again call the function that is a s dot get data to get the values of a and b and then we call the another function that is a s dot sub and at the end write down console dot read line to read the output okay so this is our program now the program execution start from main function here we create object of class addition and then call the method get data in get data method we read the values of a and b and then we call the function add and here we perform the addition of two numbers that is c equal to a plus b and then print the value of c next we create the object of class subtraction and then again call the get data method and then sub method so here again we get the values of a and b and then perform subtraction of two numbers so let's run the program okay enter the value of a and b so here we call the get data method now i enter the value of a as 10 and b as 20 so here it shows addition is 30 now again we create the object of subtraction class and then again we call get data method and then we call sub method so here it will ask again that is enter the value of a and b so here i enter the value of a as 25 and value of b as 6 so the subtraction is 19 so this is a simple program of hierarchical inheritance 
I hope you understand it very well. If you have any doubt regarding this program or any other topic, then let me know in the comment section.